गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स ये स्टूडेंट्स एज यू नो वी आर डूइंग टॉपिक फ्रैक्शन एंड इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी डिस्कस हाउ वी कैन एड द फ्रैक्शन नंबर एंड वी ऑल्सो डिस्कस वट वट आर लाइक फ्रैक्शन एंड वट आर अनलाइक फ्रैक्शन देन एडिशन ऑफ लाइक फ्रैक्शन नाउ विल डिस्कस हाउ वी कैन सब्जेक्ट लाइक फ्रैक्शन नंबर so for this students we will discuss few questions of uh, exercise 37 so now i am starting exercise 7 which is uh, uh, subtraction of like fraction numbers yes students now find the difference your first question is 7 upon 8 your first question is 7 upon 8 minus 3 upon 8 students now you can see the denominator of this fraction is 8 8 both fraction numbers having the same denominator so these fraction numbers are like fraction numbers so now now we'll subtract these fraction numbers first we'll write 8 as it is now 7 minus 3 Seven minus three is four upon eight. Clear, students? Now we have seven upon eight and three upon eight. These are like fraction. First, we write eight eight as a LCM. Eight at as it is. Then seven minus three is four. So your answer is. Four upon eight. Next is second question. Five upon six minus one upon six. Again, denominator is six six. So these are like fractions. So students first will write six as it is. Then five minus one. Five minus one. Five minus four. Ah, uh, five minus one four. Upon six. So your answer is four upon six. Dear students, next is four upon seven minus three upon seven. Minus three upon seven. So write as seven four. Minus three, four minus three is one. Four minus three is one, and seven as it is. So your answer is one upon seven. Next students, fourth question is eight upon nine. Minus five upon nine. Using same method, first we write nine as it is. 
एट माइनस फाइव एट माइनस फाइव इज थ्री योर आंसर इज थ्री अपॉन नाइन Dear students, this is question one to four of exercise thirty-seven. Yes, students. Uh, in exercise thirty-seven, question first to ninth question are same method. Uh, these are total nine question and four questions we already discussed. and next five question fifth sixth seventh eighth and ninth next five question uh, are having the same seven now after this lecture students you will try question fifth sixth seventh eighth or ninth a very easy simple method so so you can complete question 1 to 9 okay next is 10th question now your statement is 1 upon 5 uh, subtract 1 upon 5 from 3 upon 5 statement is subtract 1 upon 5 from 3 upon 5 One upon five from three upon five. Yes, students. Uh, now first we'll arrange this statement as we are subtracting one upon five from three upon five. So first we'll write three upon five. Now, students, arrange this statement as three upon five minus one upon five. Three. Upon five, because we are subtracting one upon five from three upon five. That's why we'll first type three upon five, then one upon five. First, we'll arrange this statement. Now we will subtract. Denominator is five five. So first write here five and uh, three minus one. Three minus one is two upon five. So your answer is two upon five. Clear, students. Next is two upon subtract two upon seven from six upon seven. Two upon seven from six upon seven. Now, students, again we we'll subtract six minus seven. Minus two upon six upon seven minus two upon seven. Now subtract. First, we'll write seven as it is. Now six minus two. Six minus two. Six minus two is four. So your answer is four upon seven. Now. 
Next is twelfth question. Subtract one upon eight from five upon eight. Subtract one upon eight from five upon eight. Again, students, first we'll arrange this statement. Five upon eight minus one upon eight. Five upon eight minus one upon eight. Now subtract first we'll write eight as a LCM. Five minus one. Yes, students, five minus one. Five minus one is four. So your answer is four upon eight. Yes, students, this is question 10, 11th and Next is 13th question. Find the difference. Find the difference No. Now we'll arrange these two fraction number as uh, first we'll write the greatest number, then we'll subtract the smaller one. Okay, now your statement is 13th question. Find the difference between 9 upon 13 and uh, 4 upon 13. 9 upon 13 and 4 upon 13. Now, students, compare these numbers. 9 denominator is 13, 13. So denominator is same. Now compare its numerator. Numerator is 9 and 4. In first fraction number, we have 9 numerator. And in second, we have 4. Now find the difference. So first, we'll arrange this statement as 9 upon 13 minus 4 upon 13. Right, 13 as it is, 9 minus 4. Dear students, 9 minus 4 is 5. So your answer is 5 upon 30. 5 upon 30. Next is question number 14th. Yes, students, your 14th question is five up, subject five upon 10 and eight upon 10. Eight upon ten. Now, students, compare these two fraction numbers and arrange these numbers as eight upon ten minus five upon ten. Eight upon ten minus 
5 upon 10. Dear students, now uh, subtract these numbers as 10, 8 minus 5. 8 minus 5 is 3. So, students, your answer is 3 upon 10. Next is 15th and 16th. Now, question number 15. Find the difference of minus 7 minus 3 minus 7. So simple, we'll write 7, 5 minus 3, 5 minus 3. Five minus three is two. So your answer is two upon seven. Now students represent these numbers on number line. So how we can show these numbers on number line? Now your question is uh, from use number line and uh, to find the difference so simple subtraction is 5 upon 7 minus 3 upon 7 is 2 upon 7 now show these numbers on uh, number line yes students now show these numbers on our for this ones uh, first we'll draw a, a line uh, with the help of scale and pencil to show these numbers on number line you will draw a line with the help of scale and pencil, like this. Yes, friends. You will use scale to draw this number line. So, right here, zero. This point represents zero. And uh, here your denominator is seven. So divide your line in seven equal parts because your denominator is seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. So write first in first one upon seven. Write two upon seven. Three upon seven. This number is four upon seven. Five upon seven. Six upon seven. Seven upon. Yes, students, to show these numbers on number line, first with the help of scale and pencil, we'll draw a pencil, uh, draw a line with the help of scale and pencil. Then uh, in this question, your denominator is seven. So divide your line segment into seven equal parts and write this number as one upon seven, two upon seven, three upon seven, at last, 7 upon 7. Now we'll show these numbers. First number is uh, 5 upon 7. Your first number is 5 upon 7. So we'll start from 0 to 5 upon 7. Five upon seven. Two upon seven. Two upon seven. 
dear students next is 16th question now we have 8 upon 11 minus 5 upon 11 yes students now your statement is 8 upon 11 minus 5 upon 11 Students, first we write 11 as it is, then 8 minus 5. 8 minus 5 is 3. Now, students, show these numbers on uh, number line. Now, students, again, with the help of scale and pencil, draw a number line. Draw a number line. Now, your uh, students, you can see in this question, your denominator is 11. Yes, students, denominator is 11. So, you will uh, divide this line segment into 11 equal parts. Now, here, point is 0. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Divide your line segment into eleven equal parts. Now write these numbers as one upon eleven. 1, 2 upon 11, next is 3 upon 11, 4 upon 11, 5 upon 11, 6 upon 11, 7 upon 11, 8 upon 11, Dear students, now your first number is 8 upon 11, 8 upon 11. So we'll start from 0 to 8, this one, 0 to 8. Eight, and uh, we are subtracting five upon eleven. Now subtract five steps: one, two, three, four, five. One, two. From eight upon eleven, we are subtracting five upon eleven. So uh, five steps back: one, two, three, four, and five. So start here and reach at 3 upon 11. 3 upon 11. Is 37. Dear students, so now students will start next exercises that is exercise 30.